you guys are going. So this, we're we're gonna roll. This is this, this is kind of getting us um, back into game day. You know, we've been practicing now for seven or eight months. We've been in the dome. We've been outside. We've been quarantined, and we gotta we gotta refocus and reset because, like the big board said, game day matters. Okay, and it's all about how we perform when it counts and we could you know we talk process process over outcome i i get all that but at the end of the day every single one of you on this call wants to perform when it matters when does it matter it matters during the game okay it matters when it counts on a sunday in a championship game in a big moment that's when you want to perform at your best and point number one game day matters panic at the disco my phones have been blowing up this week. Why has it been blowing up? Because people have started playing games. 0 for 2, 0 for 3, 0 for 4. I rolled over three times. And now all of a sudden, we've lost all the confidence that we've essentially gained over the last six or seven months. All these calls, all the practice at the Dome, everything that we've worked on goes out the window because we went 0 for 4. We couldn't find the strike zone. Something went wrong. And now everything that we've worked for goes out the window. And don't nod your head because that's why my phone's blowing up because everyone panics. Panic at the disco, okay? That's the last time to panic. You gotta understand that it's the process. It's about your routines. It's about what keeps you in your neutral zone. Everyone goes 0 for 4 the first day and they think they can't hit. Now your brain switches from all the stuff that we've talked about, and it goes into a deep, dark place. And if you don't find a barrel or you don't get a hit your next game, it goes into a deeper, darker place, right? And then you start doubting yourself. You start losing your focal points of having an elite mindset. You start losing your routines. You start changing your batting stance. You start changing your pitching mechanics. And this slowly starts to snowball. No, 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 no. Stay with your roots. Our goal, so the pan, what, once we get past the panic at the disco, is your ability to have fun. Our goal, your goal is fundamental reaction. What does fundamental reaction mean? You're able to fundamentally react in the game when it counts. Ground balls hit to you, you pick it up just like you do at the dome. You get a ball right down the middle. You're able to barrel it just like in BP. You're able to execute a pitch just like in your bullpen with your instructor. That is fundamental reaction or execution. The only way you're going to get fundamental reaction in the game is with when you're right in between your ears with your confidence. And if you're doubting yourself, even 1%, you're never going to get the fundamental reaction when it counts. I'll say it again. If you're doubting yourself 1%, you're never going to get the fundamental reaction in the games. I'll give you an example. You just, you, you've been waiting for seven, eight months to go to play this game, right? You go up to the plate, you roll over the first pitch to the, to the second baseman, right? Where's your mind at? Some of you, you know, oh, I got a good pitch to hit. I need to see it deeper. Where is your head at and how are you fixing that? Because you cannot allow 0 for 1 to turn into 0 for 4. You cannot allow 0 for 4 to turn into 0 for 8. You cannot allow 0 for 8 to turn into 1 for 15, right? Because now all of a sudden you're in a place you don't want to be. You got to, if, if you have the proper confidence, you want the ball, you want the moment. But that comes from one thing and one thing only is going to center you, is going to keep you in your yellow zone. Routine, routine, routine. Here's an example. You just, you, you did not have a good weekend, your first weekend, okay? What will get you back into your process? You should have a routine on the mound. You should have a routine in the batter's box. You should have a routine pre-game. You should have a routine that you can relate back to, good, bad, or indifferent. If you have a good game or you have a good at-bat, 
you should have the same routine as if you have a bad at bat. That's how you get yourself back into your center. That's how you get yourself back into your yellow zone, your neutral zone, okay? If you had a great weekend, guess what? It's not time to think you're, you know, the next Chris Bryant or Javi Baez or whoever. You're, you're still practicing your process and your routines on a consistent basis. It's got to be your go-to. If you don't have a routine, you need to get one because in the bad times, in the dark times, okay, that is going to get you back to your yellow zone. Whether it's two taps, breathe, before you're at bat, barrel stare, look at the foul pole. I don't care what it is, but it's got to be the same thing. And that's a way where you can calmly tell yourself, I've been here before in the dome. I've been here before in a practice game. I've been here before in the championship game when it matters. If you practice the same routines, your mind is telling your body you've been here before, and then you automatically get into your yellow zone and you're able to fundamentally react, which is perform when it counts, okay? If you don't have a routine, the moment is taking over you. And that is when it overcomes you and you cannot perform at your maximum ability. All right. So fundamental reaction equals confidence. You got to want the moment and you got to be able to trust your routines, trust your process. If it doesn't work out for you, you still trust your process and you go back to that same routine. If you didn't have a good weekend, go back to the same process and the same routine. If you need to make an adjustment mechanically, I'm rolling over the ball. I got to see the ball deeper. I got to change my fields. Go, you know, my, as a left-handed batter, my focus now is in the left center gap over the shortstop head. If I'm a right-handed batter, my uh, focus point is over the second baseman head, over the, in the right center gap. Those are adjustments that you're going to be able to make. But again, if you're doubting yourself going into the game, it's never going to happen. Okay? And the only way to stay neutral, whether you're 0 for 4, four for four, or whether you had a great outing on the mound or a terrible outing on the mound is to go back to what you've done for the last seven months. Go back to your routines. Everyone's thrown a great bullpen in the dome. Everyone's hit great BP in the dome. Everyone's picked up every ground ball in the dome. But as soon as you start having, as soon as you don't have success in the games, then your mind wants to doubt yourself. You can't do that. You got to overcome that and you got to overcome those thoughts. Go back to your routines. Okay. And this is the last thing. This is the first weekend for you guys, the second weekend. This isn't a time for, to feel sorry for yourself. We want you to be able to handle adversity. Failure is okay because we either win or we learn. Okay. Failure is okay. But at the end of the day, when you can get over the fact that you are not feeling sorry for yourself, if you did not have success or the type of success that you want, it's not time to have a pity party. It's time to get back to work. It's time to figure out why, figure out what you, is going on in your head. I want you to mentally, if you had a bad at bat, if you had a bad, if you executed a bad pitch, if you had a bad outing. I want you to think about what your mind was doing during those bad times. And then what you need to do is you need to train your brain to get yourself back into neutral. How to do that? Go back to your routines. Breathe. Think about ex executing a pitch or executing at bat. There's no wrong answer with visualizing in between at bats, in between innings. You can visualize yourself getting a hit, seeing a ball deep, because remember, you see things twice. You see things once in your head, and then you actually see it when it happens. But if you had a bad at bat, that's a great, if, if your mind's all scattered, that's a great time to take 10 seconds in the dugout in between innings and visualize yourself having success. Your next mound, your next inning, your next uh, ground ball that's hit to you, your next fly ball, the next cutoff man you got to hit, whatever the case is. But you have to have strategies in place in order to execute because, the, because game day matters, gentlemen. Game day matters. 
There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Everyone wants to do well on the game day. But at the end of the day, when you don't do well during the games, we got panic at the disco. My phone's been blowing up. Little Jimmy went 0 for 3. Need to see him. Need a lesson. Need a lesson. Need a lesson. No, you don't need a lesson because you're your best coach. Okay? You need to get back to what you've been doing the last seven or eight months in the dome. And you need to understand it's okay to fail. You're going to learn from it. And then you're going to mentally be stronger because you want that moment. Okay? You want it. And if you don't want it and you're scared of it, then it's never going to work out for you. But you got to accept the fact that every little thing is not going to go your way. You're going to have adversity. You're going to fail. Bottom line. Okay? Big message today. Reset yourself. Today is Wednesday. Most of you don't play till Friday or Saturday. Reset yourself. Good, bad, or indifferent. Everyone, hit the reset button right now because everyone is 0 for 0 going into the weekend. Everyone has zero innings pitched going into the weekend. I don't care what you've done, okay? I don't care if you had a good outing, you had a good weekend, you had a bad weekend. Everyone's on the same scale, and that's the great thing about this game is you usually get to play day after day after day. In this case, it's, you know, weekend tournament, weekend tournament, but you get to hit the reset button. If you weren't the, if you weren't the best version of yourself last, last weekend, you need to visualize the fact that you're going to be the best version of yourself this weekend, okay? And stop doubting yourself because that, there's no room for that. Put a smile on your face, have some fun with your teammates, and understand that you guys are playing the game that you wish you could have been playing for the last three months. You have to have fun with this. All right. Understand the big board today. Game day matters. You're not having panic. You got to be able to react fundamentally and you got to be able to have confidence and want the moment. But it starts with clearing and sticking to your routines that you've done for the last seven years. Seven, I'm sorry, seven months in the dome. Don't feel sorry for yourself. And when all else fails, get to work. If you're not, it, listen, if you're just taking, um, if you haven't done anything, your, your last game was on Sunday and you haven't done anything and it's Wednesday, you need to check yourself in the mirror right now. Okay, that's not acceptable. Every day there's, you should be a plan on how, how you're getting better. This is week one stuff, all right? But at the bottom line, don't feel sorry for yourself. Get to work. If you are on your high horse because someone tweeted about you or you had a great weekend or you won the MVP or whatever the case is, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Get back to work because you have to execute this weekend just like you executed last weekend. And if you weren't the best version of yourself, it's time to be the best version of yourself and get right in between the years. All right. You guys all got my number. Reset it. Get back to work. You got two. If you play on Saturday, you got two days to get your mind right before Saturday. If whenever you play, if you play Friday, you got one, one day to get your mind right. But get your mind right. Don't walk into the field on Saturday doubting yourself because you didn't, have, you didn't have a very good weekend last weekend. All right? Miss you guys. Love you guys. Give me two thumbs up. All right? We're going to have a guest on uh, next week, and uh, I don't know who it is. So it, it might be someone special. So um, get your mind right. Get your plan ready, and uh, everyone have a great weekend. All right? Adios, boys.